Exosomes are little packaged vesicles that carry genetic information, mitochondrial information. So basically it's just a way for a cell to communicate and tell another cell what it wants it to do. A fun fact is that when exosomes were first discovered, they were actually thought that they were just cell waste. They didn't think they were important. They just thought it was the cell getting rid of some sort of waste that it didn't need. Well, it turns out that these are super important. As you know, exosome therapy is a huge therapy now in its own right. What they do is they capture these exosomes from a stem cell. So you have to grow a stem cell and then you have to get them to release the exosome somehow and there's multiple ways you can do that then you capture these exosomes and you use these for a therapeutic purpose rather it's putting in a scalp to regrow hair you can administer them in a knee joint to help regrow uh, cartilage and connective tissue and get rid of somebody's pain from their arthritic joint a uh, lots of different uses that you can do this on the other hand with stem cell therapy is it's not cell free you're actually capturing getting these cells and using them for a very specific uh, therapeutic purpose. Autoimmune disease, autism, joint pain, lots of different ways that you can apply these. So they both do have a lot of the same purposes. It's just the big difference is you're getting these exosomes from a cell and you're using them versus the cell where you're using the cell themselves. I'm a little bit more of a fan of using the cells themselves. And you can certainly do both. You can use exosome therapy and you can use uh, cell therapy at the same time. The big difference with using stem cells is that the stem cells are kind of like the conductor of this orchestra. They get to decide what exosomes are gonna be made, what they're gonna put in these little exosome packages when they're being secreted out. Thank you.